This podcast is intended for adults only. We do not condone the use of any illegal substances, and anything we consume is for educational purposes only. Because, you know, we should be afraid of a plant that grows from the ground. And, you know, endocannabinoid system is, you know, it's in your body and it, it produces cannabinoids. I mean, it, you know what? I'm going to, you know, I'm going to stop because we're gonna, I'm going to rant. They're just, they're just play the music, Mitch. So I drove six states, never thought I'd be there right by my side, man. What a time it is to be alive. See, I'm charged up, feeling energized, doing the enterprise, move super size. Huh. Yeah, I let you like a side of fries. Whoa, false guys who you idolize. Yeah, go against us, I would not advise. We the highest in the room, just look up what's in, you can find us. Our songs should have more plays, but we too, though, they rewind us. All my talk is loud. You are listening to the Canacuya Podcast, where we are cultivating conversation concerning cannabis, culture, and creativity. I'm one of your hosts. I'm Mitch Narito. And I am Eric Esteban. And I am feeling the effects of the harvest. Yes, sir. Because, my goodness gracious Christ, we are very stoned right now. Yes. Um, we are, you're, you're coming to us as the Kanakuyas. Like, I feel like I've never been as stoned as I am right now because we, we smoked a trademark can of cigarro you can't just you can't just i'm gonna put it a trademark you can't just, i i just did it i just did it Fuck, it, look if trump can be a convicted felon 34 times and be a president i can be like fuck trademark trademark can of cigarro that's that's our shit look at that if if, if you never if you try to do can of cigarro you will listen to this podcast and you will see we got the trademark for can of cigarro cigarro is a is Tagalog for cigar. So I think I think I think people could have figured that one out. I understand that they probably could have figured it out, but I have smoked two of the my hand rolled hemp paper uh, shout out to Zigzag as far as the paper goes, the the hemp paper uh hemp blunt wraps, uh which is the, they're delicious, delicious. Um but I hand rolled um and I smoked today two four gram cigarros from the harvest, and it is really I'm stoned as hell. That's a lot of that's a lot of weed in one sitting. I think it's eight grams of weed that I've smoked by myself today. That's a lot. That's a lot of weed. That's a lot. Of that weed. is a lot of weed. But that's what happens when you you harvest your shit. And 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 Jack Herrera came through last week. If you were here last week, you heard about the harvest of Jack Herrera. But this week, we harvested the Jedi cookies. Well, let me. I guess I guess we could say uh, you, you're not necessarily being wasteful with weed. Like not at all. It's a. Uh, it is eight grams, but it was. Pretty it's it's the four grams. The, it's eight grams total of when you weigh the actual Flat. can of cigarro, like the the actual rolled finished product, right? But but it, there's the the glass tip that that which really enhances the smoking experience. Yeah. If it, like you just we just finished one of them, and uh-huh. it, that glass tip really finishes. It makes it classy, doesn't it? But it that's just, like four grams. But that's four grams, and then it's four grams additional. It's about an eighth of weed that's in the uh, can of cigarro, yeah, or the cigarro, whatever you want to say. Uh, however, but it the, but the, it's the, not like the big buds, right? It's just like the, no, it's uh, it's ground up like joint weed. But it, no, no, no. What I mean is like it's like it's the shake, or it's like no. No, it's, I mean, maybe some of the mini buds, but more like, like for, in the case of the Jack Herrera cigar that you smoked mm-hmm. just, just now, yeah, yeah. it was more of the uh, smaller plants. So the smaller buds, okay. but still really good buds, still the same buds that you would smoke just in the same way that when we talk about you know, going to the dispensary and buying the the mini buds from more reputable brands is a better way to go because the mini buds are the same as the big buds. They're just smaller and you grind it up and you roll it into a joint and it's the same experience. So in the same way that that is, you know, the same way that I can take the mini buds that I had that I harvested and then grind it all up and put it into the cigarro, it's the same experience. If, if I can liken this to something else, it's like, you know, when you buy produce, right? Mm-hmm. And then they have like the produce that's just not pretty. <laughs> like, right. You have like the, you have the carrot with like, uh, 
you know. It's, it's still got the beta carotene in it. It's, it's still got everything. all the delicious vitamins and minerals and all the good stuff that you're supposed to eat carrots for, make your eyes good and all that shit. It's still got all that stuff in it. So it's even if it's an ugly carrot, it's yeah. still going to taste good. <laughs> Right. In the same way that some of these mini buds, some of these buds that like they call it larf or they call it, you know, whatever, like the throwaway bud. To me, it's yeah, that's like some of the growers that I when I listen to the other growing podcast, they call it larf or like the throwaway bud. For me, that's not throwaway bud. You can freeze it and then and then press it. You can freeze it and then make it into butter. You can you can do like I said, you can take the mini buds and take all of them, put them in a jar and then grind it all up and put them into like cigarros and not. Now you've got a wonderful, like I said, that cigar experience is a really, like you, you were saying, it's like a classy, yeah, classy way of consumption. It just, because like you have to, it, it's not like, you know, sometimes when you're smoking a joint or just like a regular blunt, you kind of, sometimes you're in a hurry, you know, like you're just sure. trying to get it done, right? Right. Like with the cigar, I, like you kind of have to. You you have to take your time. Mm-hmm. Like you got to just enjoy. You're, you 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 even when we you first initially started smoking it, you were almost impatient. You were like, you know what you should do? You should roll it and put a hole in it, and and, it, and it'll smoke faster. But and I and I I do agree with you in as far as like figuring out a way to make that initial smoke the same as the 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 portion where you're really enjoying it and tasting it and all that. But at the same time, I, I that's part of the cigar experience because, like in the cigar experience, you have to kind of clip that. Don't you know you have to you you clip you, you, you clip the tip so that you're lighting just the initial tobacco, right? I'm not trying for you to clip the tip, but at the same time, it's that first those first initial puffs are almost like the the sifting of the cognac of the wine or the wine like the smelling of it like the oh you're just kind of like you can even even the even like even the dry the dry puffs like you could do dry puffs of the cigar like it, it, it's almost those they're almost like to get you going until by the time you get to the end of it you're like oh wow this is really that's why for me like when i smoked that first one and i was like this is probably the best smoking experience for me and maybe it's because i'm an older man maybe because it's just i like taking my time with it maybe it's because i was able to have a cigar in my mouth and just water all my plants in the garden and it, it lasted for like a half hour and i was just chilling but all of it together put together was like one of the best smoking experiences i've ever had even as somebody who smokes all the time every day it was a different kind of experience for me smoking that cigar by myself it was great it's definitely a lot smoother i i will say i I'm not a huge cigar smoker. Like in my entire life, I've maybe smoked like two whole cigars. Yeah, me too. Me too. I know the process. I know what you're supposed to do. But I just, I'm not, I can't appreciate like a good cigar. Right. I'm not the type to. Because I don't like the taste of it. You're not supposed to really inhale the smoke. And and I, I instinctively will inhale the smoke because of how I smoke weed. Exactly. Right. So this cigar almost enables you to experience a cigar experience where you're able to savor and taste and enjoy the cannabis that you're smoking, but all the while also you're getting stoned all the way through it. Yeah, no, like, because, like, with a regular cigar, right, like, you're not supposed to in, inhale. You're just tasting. You're just puffing. Mm-hmm. You're just puffing a little. Mm-hmm. You're getting that taste, right? And for this, you still have to do that same type of action. You're puffing, right? But you're you're loading it up, right? You're you're trying to build up the smoke, like, and uh, and then you actually take it down, and like uh, the volume. It's a lot of volume. Um, <laughs> no, in terms of the smoke, you know, like. No, I, I I saw that you were enjoying the 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 the, the cigar that we we were smoking because. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll you a really special one for your birthday, because Mitch's birthday is coming up, and we have a show. Uh, at, if you're in the LA area, we're at the Broadwater again. Every second Thursday, we're gonna be here at the Karaoke All Stars. But Mitch is headlining the show this week, and it's his birthday show. If you want to come su- support us, we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be here. I, it's early plug. It's early plug because are you gonna, are you gonna drop this tomorrow? Like yeah. I'm gonna okay. drop it tomorrow. All Fuck right. it. Same, same Mine day. as well. Guys, yeah. If you're not doing anything later on tonight, 
If you're not doing anything later on tonight and you're listening to this and you're in the Los Angeles area, it's a very specific niche little market we're marketing to on the podcast. But we're at, we're at Mitch's birthday show, Mitch's bir- birthday karaoke show. It's going on. But um, to go back to what we were talking about as far as the cigars and that experience, I am, I am really excited about discovering this for myself because I wasn't very much of a blunt smoker, but these hemp wrap papers from zigzag, they're, they're green. They're, you know, they, they, I, cause I, I never liked blunts because of the tobacco taste. I've never done that. But now that I have these hemp wrap papers and I'm doing it with these cigars, it, it, like I said, it's one of the best smoking experiences I've ever had. That's interesting. Because, you know, coming up, I, I smoked a lot of blunts. Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah. L.A. I mean that's that's culture. That's the culture yeah. of cannabis. You got yeah a lot of blunts. Yeah, like I mean Snoop has his own blunt roller for goodness sakes. <laughs> um, and that's why, like, I I didn't realize for long. I was like, oh, uh, just the paper itself had the had the tobacco. Yeah, you know, it's so, nicotine. It's so, a nicotine. It's a tobacco leaf. Yeah, so it's a different. It, it gives you a little buzz too. You know, like it's mm-hmm. a little different. And it I gives me a headache. That's why I don't like. I, that's why I stopped smoking cigarettes. Is because I didn't like the effects that cigarette to that that tobacco had on me. Because most most of the time, tobacco would give me a headache. So that's part of the reason why I, I I shied away from blunts. But yeah, and I know hemp hemp blunt wraps have been around for a minute. And I know I'm not sh- sharing anything, you know, epiphany wise. And as far as but for me, it's the first time I tried it, and it's worth the ex- if it if it costs a little extra, whatever. I don't give a shit because it is worth it because it tastes delicious and it tastes perfect with the weed i think that's a privilege you get from being older because like yeah when i was younger it'd be like hey go grab a pack of swishers go grab yeah for sure yeah and they'd break it up and you break the the, i mean i remember that was how we did back in the day because they didn't have blunt wraps for you back in the day you'd you'd break a swisher up and you'd take the wrap wrap of it and then you'd put your weed in it in in place of and or put some weed in the tobacco and it'd be a it'd be an actual what is that called again uh, a spliff a spliff or and or a blunt spliff or whatever you want to call it but that was never i never wanted that because i always wanted just the cannabis yeah see that's why like for for me and my friends we never we never smoked spliffs it yeah. was like we'd empty out the we just needed the paper yeah. so we'd empty out the entire contents you know like like uh, shout out to those people that know like what one of those man like, that's those are hard to roll man those are the ones where you break it up and then you put it back together and do uh, that's no, some, but like okay. that's some skill no 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 there used to be a tool right like have you ever seen those it was like the little uh it was like the little cylinder it had a blade on the inside and then you, mm-hmm. just, you mm-hmm. just thread the you just thread the the blood through it and then yeah. cut it clean like if you didn't have one of those, it was rough. You try to use like a key or whatever. It was, oh, no. Oh, was, it just, Forget it. Forget it. Just put it in a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> At that point. No, but then that's when like. Don't waste weed. Just put it in a bowl. That's the same time. Because like, I don't know. You fucked it up with the breaking of it. Now you're going to fuck it up with the rolling of it. Just just, just put it in a bowl. No, but this is when, like, <laughs> when we were like broke college kids. So yeah, like, that's we were, what I'm saying. No, but we didn't have, we didn't have pieces uh, either. No. So we'd, we'd make pieces, right? Like, like, yeah. It'd be like apples. How many times have you smoked out of an apple? That's what I was about to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> we use apples. We use, uh, I remember like we use like bottles, you know, like bottles, like my buddies would be able to make pipes out of cans. And I was like, I didn't think of anything like of it like back in the day. But no, now I, I realize just, that. I was like, I, whenever, whenever and one of those industrious dudes would come up with whatever they wanted to smoke out of and be like, can I just take my weed back and I'm going to roll a joint? Because yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So I, I, mean, I was basically more of a joint smoke i'm I'm still i love joints i love smoking joints that's my uh preferred method prefer no nah, i don't want to say preferred method my preferred method now is my my shout out to grav my gandalf pipe oh my god i love my gandalf pipe my long elongated you know little bowl pipe that i can just pop, pack a little weed in there and then you know gandalf that shit oh it is, it is very long it's a very nice, but it's so, but it's, but it's, it's, it's easy to clean, but it's also, like I said, that elongation makes you have to sip it like a straw. Well, it also, it, it's, it's also filtration. It's just mm. like, you know, like, yeah. uh, uh, what's her name? Audrey Hepburn when she had her mm-hmm. long, the uh, long filled cigarette filters. Yeah. It's the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Like it, it allows you to almost taste bits of the smoke as it 
intakes rather than this blast of smoke. I, I, I mean, I'm at a point now where I'm, I'm trying to be more can about it. And I want to, I want, I'm, I'm tasting everything. Like even just in, you know, to bring it back to the harvest, like the distinction between Jack Herrera and Jedi cookies is crazy. This, the smells alone are crazy different. Like you were talking about how Jack has a more, I mean, it's basically a distinct Jack, almost like when you think of Jack Herrera, that's kind of the smell that it smells like. It's not, what's, okay, it, it's not typically the smell I associate with Jack. No? No. Okay. It's, uh, so, um, I was telling Eric, like, because he gave me, he gave me a jar last week, if you guys are listening, uh, he gave me a jar of Jack for my birthday, and I've been working on it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and what I've noticed is, like, it has, like, this is a term that's relatively recent for me, right? Okay. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't remember hearing this a lot, like, back in the day. Like, gas, right? Like, it's gassy. Right? Okay. So it has that, like, it has that aroma. It smells like gasoline. Right? Okay, okay. Um, and I could, like, I've noticed, like, you know, throughout the week or whatever. Have, have, have other people tried it? Have, they, have you shared it with other people at all? I have, I okay. Have. What, what, were their, what was their opinion of the Jack? Uh, they thought it was real smooth. They 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 enjoyed the the smoothness of it. Like uh, the people I smoked with, they wouldn't necessarily. I, I don't think they notice like the tastes or anything. Taste or yeah, anything sure, sure, sure. Or, but I know for me, um, it does have a smell because like it gets caught in my mustache too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So like, and then like after you know like I grind stuff up or whatever, I could smell it on my fingers. Sure. And it does have a very. Uh, There's a very distinct smell. It doesn't smell like like your like your normal weed, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, because like I feel like uh, traditionally for me, like Jack always smelled like uh, piney. It was like super. Sure. Piney. Yeah. 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 Like it, it. It would remind me of the outdoors. Sure. Right. And there's no piney smell in this. I don't think I haven't. No, I haven't very, smelled. It's very. Um, there's a sweeter smell, like a candy smell to it, almost. Right. Yeah. Um, I can't even really place it. To be honest, I've been I've been smelling it all week, even when I burped the jars, and I can't really place the smell of it. But it's definitely different from the Jedi cookies, which is way more like your traditional gassy, like indica, like heart, like like your no, like like weed. So, weed, so the Jedi, you know what I mean? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Describe the Jedi cookies as like gassy. Sure. Uh, what would you? What would you describe it? So it's definitely, um, it's definitely like uh, more herbal. It's it's very sure. It's very piney. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. More piney. Okay. Um, and in terms of structure, so the Jack, it's uh, it, it's a lot of it's a big bud, right? Yeah. But. I would say it's a little airy, right? Sure. Like so, like after- they're not big, dense. Like they're not like hard, hard buds. They're yeah. just they're more like when you grind them up. There's not there's not much to them still. Yeah, but it still gets the job done. Oh, no, like, for sure, it's, for it's, sure. It's like a little it goes a long way. But like I've noticed that like um, I I'm going through the jar faster. I'm not necessarily smoking more. See, but w- you remember when we were talking about Jack? Like historically, like the times that I've smoked Jack is like you gotta smoke a lot of jack to to get not 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 to say you gotta smoke a lot of jack to get you there because i don't necessarily i can smoke one joint of this and i'm good for yeah. a minute but but at the same time it's still i still gotta smoke a whole joint of this to be really good no but i think also it's the effects right mm-hmm. like for for jack you know it's supposed to be a more get up and go weed right like mm-hmm. it's more mm-hmm. of like an active like it's yeah. something you could take in the afternoon or or whatnot, and you can still function throughout the day. Well, you were saying that it's the perfect joint weed. Yeah, no, it's really good joint weed. Like, um, cause like when you're putting it, like when I, I've I've discovered when I'm putting it in my bong, right? Like when I'm putting it in there, like, um, like I'll take like one or two hits, and then the bowl is done. Yep. Right. And then when I put it in a joint, though, that thing burns forever. So I don't know. I don't know what the reason for that is. No, and, and what I've found because I've been able to be with both the Jack and the Jedi cookies for a couple of days now, and in fact, Jack is the perfect joint weed. Is it? It's it's wonderful. It's wonderful joint weed. Like I love it. It's it like it's the perfect because because if you smoke a joint of Jack, it's like 
it, it gets you exactly where do you, you need to be. It's like the, that perfect day, like joint, you're smoking a joint during the day and you just want to get through the day and it's, it, it's the perfect get you through the day kind of weed. Whereas Jedi cookies is very much, very, very much. I feel the indica. I smell the Skywalker in it. Like I, I can, I, I it reminds me of like back in the day Skywalker and like I, I, I smoked two bowls of that last night and it put me right out and See, it's, and it was perfect. I, I think that the feeling that you're trying to feel or like the, like the end result that you're trying to uh, get to mm-hmm. when you're smoking is important. Yeah, exactly. Because like the goals that you have with whatever strain you're smoking are exact because you want to know how each strain or each cultivar, however you want to call it affects you. Yeah. And like, like I said, Jack is perfect for like daytime weed. You want to get up and go. You want to do stuff. You want to finish your job. You want to finish whatever project you're working on. Jack is perfect for that. Yeah, and then that's why, like, for you, for you, you say you say that you smoke more of it. It's because like you're still getting you're still getting the effects, but you wanted a specific effect that Jack is not providing you. Correct. Whereas Jedi cookies will hit me. And I'll smoke one bowl of that, and I'm ready to do. Like you're satisfied. I'm satisfied, ready to go. What, but it's different because Jack is doing exactly what I wanted to do. Because I'm not trying to go to sleep. I'm not trying to relax and chill out and be done with the day. That's what I would do if I'm smoking a, a bowl of Jedi cookies. Whereas with Jack, I can smoke that, and I'm smoking a joint, and then I can smoke another joint for the rest of the day and keep going, doing my other stuff, working the garden, and I'm good. And those feelings, though, are, yeah. are also very specific to a specific individual. Like genetics. Yeah, for sure. Genetics plays a big role because yeah. like, it depends on what kind of receptors are getting hit. Right, because yeah. all, we all, again, will remind everybody because everybody's got an endocannabinoid system in their bodies. And each one of our, our endocannabinoid systems are different. So we receive and, you know, intake cannabis in in many different ways like my wife like she tried to smoke weed and i'll I'll never forget the way that she responded she's like i don't understand why people do this because she has enough her endocannabinoid system manufactures or does enough to regulate her system where she doesn't need to intake any more cannabinoids to make herself or make her mind work right or where whereas with me if i don't smoke i'm not really nice to deal with you know it's a different person no it's also like you know how some people will get paranoid or some people will get like amped or whatever when they smoke certain types of weed Mm -hmm. like it does have that effect and it's nice to it's nice to have the jack because it's a it's a very like i I wouldn't say cerebral thing like it it doesn't really like make you dumb right Mm mm-hmm yeah. So, so like, and like you were, we were saying when we initially tried it and smoked it, it was more in the body. You can even feel it in your shoulders, and it's just a, a relaxing, like mm-hmm. kind of like get on with your day kind of weed. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Jedi cookies, it, it is a little heavier. Like the nugs are, um, they are denser. Even the even the trichomes on them, they 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 look like they're frosted versus the Jack, which is it's it's nice. It's a nice frosting of trichomes, but. The, it's a very different trichome situation with the Jedi cookies. <laughs> and like smoking it, um, I get a cooler sensation like uh, in, in my chest. You know what I mean? Jedi cookies? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a, it's like a. There's almost a menthol feeling it, to it. It's not menthol. I want to say menthol, but it has like some sort of like, it, it's reminiscent of something like that. You know? Sure, sure, sure. Um, like when I said it's like uh, piney. And yeah, thing. like it is. It is like there's there. It's almost that. Like I said, it, it has that like traditional indica smell to it. To me, like it, I, I immediately think of like old Skywalker um, strains that I smoked back in the day when I when I sniffed that jar. No, it's like for me, it, it reminded me of walking through like a Christmas tree lot. Like it's just oh. like it's like you know, like when you inhale all that air. Look at like, look at us Filipinos trying to make it Christmas already in November. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that's the best way to describe it. Like it, it's like walking through a like a like a fir tree farm or whatever, you know. Like, well, I'm looking at a night like this now because 
everybody that has tried this weed is has given a thumbs up. We'll say it like that. I'm not trying to humble brag, but a lot of people are liking this. So I feel like you know the next step is to start submitting this stuff to festivals. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw my my hat in the ring and I'm gonna start submitting the Kanakuya weed to some of these uh, harvest cups and cannabis cups, and we'll see what we can do. Because uh, I'm excited because Rooted Leaf has really helped me uh, kind of make a consistency to my grow. Because I, I'm, I'm, we still haven't even talked about the strawberry cough because I haven't harvested it yet. Because when I looked on the website for the genetics, uh, this is supposed to go 10 to 12 weeks. And we're now on week 11 and a half, almost week 12. And they're ready to go, I think. And the strawberry cough is the best, most beautiful weed I've ever grown. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see what your strawberry cough is like because i've been having like different versions of strawberry cough. sure like uh i've had like the stizies infused they got a strawberry cough sure um one of my friends she had i don't know where she was getting her flower but it was like um you know like it was it wasn't like regular weed it was like the like the crystal like a moon rock sure 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 but it was a strawberry cough moon yeah, rock it was a, it was like, okay it was like a strawberry cough like type of type of deal like that um and it's interesting because, like, whatever... Because you haven't seen the strawberry cough. That's the one tent I, I didn't open up while you were here. So we'll, we'll, you look at it while we, when before you leave today, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you can take a look. But, but yeah. it's, it's, like, the stizzies and then, like, whatever my friend had. Um, it does have that artificial... Like, you know, like, like it does taste like strawberry. And sure. It's, it's like... It's like a Flintstones vitamin, or, or a, yeah, I'm not, I'm not about that life. I, I, I will say that every time I've trimmed and smelled my fingers on the strawberry cough, there is a hint of strawberry, but it's not a, like a like a overwhelming or any kind of like oh shit, this is strawberries. Earlier in the grow, it was a little bit like that, but now, um, I only smell really delicious weed with okay. a little bit of strawberry in and it that's why like i want to taste uh, i want to taste what like um and wait till you see these buds because i'm excited to show them to you I'm, I'm i'm sorry that i didn't show it to you before the pod but like these strawberry cough like, like i said if you if you saw us on instagram if you see us on instagram i posted one of the most recent videos that i posted um on our stories was of the strawberry cough and like i said it one of the three strawberry coughs is probably i can't even <clears throat> for sure the most beautiful getting choked up. no no it's for sure the most beautiful plant i've ever grown seriously no but and I, like i want to see what on uh unencumbered strawberry cough tastes like yeah i mean i'm i'm, I'm excited for the strawberry cough, I just cut down the blueberry, the DJ sort blueberry. We only have one plant of that, just in the same way the Jedi cookie is only one of those. Uh, I, I I think I, I did six seeds of Jedi cookies and, and and only ended up with one plant that survived all the way through to flower and got the flower from it. So you still we, have the pineapple? It's still there. I could show it to you. I'll show it to you. It's the, the auto flower of the pineapple is is growing but it's growing slowly it's it's slowly i'm fine with i'm patient grow as as slow as you want and and don't flower until you get as big as you need to get little pineapple we got got strawberry we got strawberry cough we've got blueberry dj short blueberry we've got jack jack herrera we've got pineapple og um and then uh we'll probably have a tent of dj short blueberry um, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have that all set up by the middle of this month and then that'll come to flower for the beginning of the year no man like if we can since we're, since there's a fruit theme going on if we could find like banana OG we could do banana OG I was thinking about um, there's a there's a apple fritter that I was thinking about growing we could grow all the fruits of the no, cannabis no, no, no. the cannabis 
Bland, yeah. I, I'm, I, I, and, and I like those strains. Like from back in the day, like whenever I tried a strain of apple fritter or I tried a strain of, you know, the, the I like sweeter, fruitier stuff. Like that's why I'm, I'm really, I'm really into this Jack because it's very sweet to me. It's very fruity to me in a lot of ways. Whereas the Jedi cookies is, is what I'm, I'm, I, I go for when I need an indica that hits me in the head, you know, so I have, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to build my little library of all the different ways I want this plant to hit me. And I'm loving it because I'm, 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 I'm stupid excited for strawberry cough. Cause I remember the times when I smoked, you know, if it was strawberry cough in the dispensary, like those are some of my wonderful, those are, I love strawberry cough as, as a strain. So I'm, I'm really excited to harvest this, but also let it grow out. Cause I, and that's the great part is that I have enough weed where I'm not in a hurry to harvest this so I can let it grow out to its full potential. It It's very reminiscent of like, for me, when uh, marijuana dispensaries were not like the norm yet, like they weren't like fully um, accepted or like regulated or whatever you want to call it, right? Or or when you win contests where you you you, you hit four twenty on your what was it? What happened to you? You posted something on your Instagram where you hit a contest or you're oh, just yeah. a- like uh, I had a gig the other night in North Hollywood. Uh, I dropped by Swish. I guess I'll shout him out. Okay. Um, Oh, Swish over there on, uh, okay, yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, so I dropped by Swish just because, like, um, I was too lazy to roll my own joints on it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, I'll just go pick up a couple J's, right? So I went in, and they have this thing where they have, like, a like a stop like a stopwatch, like a clock, right? Okay. Um, and if you stop uh, the watch at 420, you win something, right? Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I've been in there before. I played the game, and like the first time I tried it, I was like, I was off by a full second. It hit three, and I hit the button, and I was just like, oh nope, that's that's my delay in my in my brain. You know, like, <laughs> I shouldn't have smoked before I, I came. shouldn't have smoked yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, like uh, so, I hit this thing, right? Like uh, she's like uh, the the lady behind the counter was like, okay, you played this game before? I was like, yeah. It's like okay, clock's ready. Whenever you're ready. So I hit it. It starts. You know, like I'm counting in my head, it hits four, and then I hit the button, right? And then it stopped exactly at 4.20. Yeah! And uh, there there was a line in the store, right? <laughs> and uh, I, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, I hit it, right? And then in my head, I was like, oh, shit, I hit it, right? Like, <laughs> I didn't even know what I was going to get, but I was just like... Hey, I hit 420, and then, like, the whole, like, everybody in line, uh, they, they were like, it blew their minds, right? They were like, oh, sh- I've never seen that happen. See, you know? Parez, we have, we have simple pleasures, man. <laughs> no, but it was- Y'all acted like you were at the roulette table or the, or the roulette table or the fucking craps table. Yeah, no, it was like, it was like a hit, I hit like a fucking, like a, like a 12 on <laughs> like it, was, it was so random and like so what did you win uh i won uh i won like uh i think i got a j they gave me a j hey man yeah a free j is always yeah good. no it was, a, it was a substantial j like they gave me nice. a j and then like i think i got a store credit or whatever next time i go in there you go man so but like it was funny because like while i was in line like i was just i was tripping out i was like oh i i, I hit it right and then the dude uh, behind me was like, hey, man, you got to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and he posted it on Instagram. So follow him at Mitch Narito on, on Instagram, guys. Follow him and follow Canacuyas, too, at Canacuyas. Is it the Canacuyas? No, it's just Canacuyas. It's Canacuyas. I'm retarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I forgot our Instagram. Uh, no, but I, 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 I'm, I'm really excited about all the harvest. I'm excited about what we're what we've been smoking i'm excited about these new cigaros that i'm learning how to roll and and i enjoy it man it's it's a fun like little pastime for me to go just hang out in the buddha lounge and just roll these cigars I, i'm i love it it's kind of a fun kind of fun fun little activity for me to do past the time see if you could i would i would suggest this mm. right 
Like if you could figure out how to make those cigars half their size, like it would, it would you would have to double up on tips, right? Like you would have to you'd have to use more of the, your glass tips. Okay. But if you could do like half the size, so like instead of like a four gram, like it's like a two gram, right? So like a little cigarillo or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I think those would be dope. We'll see. We'll see. I'll figure out how to make the like the smaller nubs almost. Yeah, yeah. Like we could make the little. Uh, like little Donald Trump dicks. <laughs> Scary. Yes. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying because you know I saw the Stormy Weathers interview or Stormy Weather Stormy Stormy Daniels interview, sure, and and she talked it. about the little mushroom <laughs> thing that she had. So we could do like we could we could call him little Donald Trump dicks because he was talking about Arnold Palmer's <laughs> huge one, and that's what we grow in the strawberry cough. The strawberry coughs is like Arnold Palmer dicks. Yes. <laughs> talking a lot about dicks on our podcast look donkey dicks arnold palmer dicks i mean look if it's okay for the president it's okay for the canicuyas that's what i'm gonna say fair enough why not let's do it so uh (laughs) if you guys want to smoke some dicks with us I get Mitch's face is so uncomfortable right now. No, it's just yeah. like, <laughs> like even just trying to say smoking some dicks. I'm not trying to. You don't smoke a donkey dick of weed. You you look at it, you see it flop over, and you say, "Wow, that looks like a donkey dick." Still, still not a fan of that term, man. I'm sorry, baby arm. So you you you. It's still, we haven't found a good alternative yet. Like we got we got to be like. I mean, for me now, these strawberry coughs, they've surpassed donkey dick, and they've gone to. Horse dick, cause they're thick. They're real thick. <laughs> I, I don't like how much. How much of these animal penises are you looking at? Today? I'm not looking at animal penises. I'm just. I'm just using my imagination and thinking. Oh no, that it's gotta was, be thicker. That was a little one. That, that's more like a pig dick. Right. Well, I. I don't know what a pig dick looks like, but. But you know, <laughs> like horses. <and> listen, <laughs> I'm only. <laughs> Horses and donkey dicks are dicks to aspire to, whereas a pig dick, I wouldn't even think to, to aspire to that. Uh, why, I don't, we're, like, I don't we're talking too much dick, okay? We, 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 we veered on dick talk twice in a row, in two episodes in a row, right, and it's man. because it's my fault. That's it's my fault. fault. <laughs> I brought us to blue twice in a row, and I, I apologize if we turned off anybody with the donkey dick, horse dick, you're still going though. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, no, but I, but that's what they look like. I mean, they're really thick, huge buds, yeah, and, right. and 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 the growers that I listen to, that's the terms that they use, dude. But see, I think we're we're we're, we're more sophisticated. No, we smoke it, weed cigars. It's not. It's not even that we're sophisticated. I just feel that we are. We are. Uh, we are on the verge of a great opportunity where we can coin our own term. So what should we do? should we do, Filipino dicks? Why does it have to be a dick? I don't know. It just you know my my brain always gravitates to dicks. I'm no, sorry. Yeah, it'd be like, hey, it's like a barrel man. I, I like I'll mm. take that. I'll take that. See, that's why you're a better clean comedian than I am. You see. They're like barrels. They're like barrel men. There we They're go. like barrel barrels of weed. So, like, see, I think. But it, then barrel men. What happens when you take the barrel off? They show their show big time. ass fucking dick. It's showtime. So see, it always comes back to the dick. No, but I think it'd be funny. But like, see, it's like it's a little. Class. Well, like, I feel like barrel man would be. I think barrel man uh, or or a barrel man sounds kind of cooler than a cigarillo or a, cig- a cigar. Oh, barrel a man. A barrel man. The Kanakuya Barrel Man, and then like if you if you make it fatter, you could have like a double barrel, <laughs> or or you took the barrel off. <laughs> Barrelless man. Um, oh no, but Barrel Man, that's a good one. See, there you go. Look, and Mitch is always better with the marketing than I am. It's not marketing. I just don't want to talk about dicks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. We should call the big. The big thick, buds. The big, thick, floppy buds. The we should men. call the barrel men. Well, bar- they're barrels. They're big barrels flopping over the plants, like like when you take the barrels off, the barrels and they're like flop big, the- floppy dicks. Oh man! <laughs> the barrels don't flop. Barrels are not floppy, man. 
Now I know the dicks are when you take the barrels off. So it's cool. I'm glad you brought the barrel no, men no, into the it. Because it just gives us another dick reference. It's great. Not, I never fly. Guys, look on our Instagram. Go. I'm going to show you the barrel men. They, it's another dick reference. Mitch was a little bit clean, but at the same time, still dicky. Still a little dicky when he went with his references. <laughs> Oh my God, we've been talking about this for like- <laughs> You know, and that's fine because that's if, if you're here and you're still here with the can of Kuyas, this is what you're here for. A little bit of comedy, a little bit of stupid talk, a little bit of us babbling while we're really high, but also us enjoying the harvest and talking about how cool it is to have homegrown weed in your house and you'll be able to share it with your friends. And I'm able, I'm, I'm going to roll you a special cigarro for your birthday a barrel man a cigarro a, a, a cigarro barrel man okay. a barrel man cigarro oh, yeah, sure. it's a barrel man cigarro that i think that's the name of it rather than because can of cigarro was a little weird for me it couldn't couldn't didn't really roll off the tongue but a barrel man cigarro you're you're now you're cooking with a little bit of gas <laughs> i'm just saying it's, I, just, it's, I just want to hear white people be like can i get a barrel man can I get a Barrelman cigar, please? <laughs> Can I please have a Barrelman cigar, and I'll gladly give you my fifty dollars. And you got you got any of those Barrelmans? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, can I have one of those Barrelman, please? One of those Barrelmans? I heard you got them. I heard you. <laughs> I heard you could get. I could. I heard I could get a Barrelman from here. So that is. So the the end of this podcast is dick jokes and and white people impressions. That's the that's what you get here with the Canacuyas. What do you think? I, I love it. I love it. Let's go. Let's make America great again, guys. All right. <laughs> oh, you should have stopped while you were ahead. Uh, no, it's cool. I mean, we got to go all the way white if we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So just, I'm sorry, guys. I listened to the Bamboo album that came out today. I'm a little bit militant. I'm sorry. Let's I'm get sorry, it. guys. Let's, let's get, get it. it. Let's get it. Back. November to remember, guys. Let's go. <laughs> All right, everyone. So you've been listening to the Kanakuya podcast, where we are cultivating conversation concerning cannabis, culture, and creativity. I'm Mitch Narito. And I am Eric Esteban. And yo, for real, shout out to Bamboo. If you are a Filipino and you are a cannabis smoker and you are a partaker of the, and you are a part of the movement, straight up, listen to Bamboo's album. What? Get get me that. What, what's the what's the title of it? Uh, uh, what, what what's the name of Bamboo's album? Because straight up, we should all listen to that and get inspired. Because I am fired up and ready to go listening to Bamboo. You've been you've been listening to it, but you don't know what the album name is. Because I've been listening to all the songs. That November to remember that last track of the song is just it is just great. No, his album's called "If You See Someone Stealing Food." No, you didn't. No, you didn't. If you see someone who's stealing food, no, you didn't. Workers unite. Cannabis growers unite. Canacuyas and marijuana ates unite. If you've been here this long, y'all should leave a review, write a review, and you know share this podcast with all your friends because we about to grow our own and grow this movement all the way through. I'm Eric Esteban. I'm Mitch Narito. To all the marijuana ates and canacuyas, stay lifted. Yeah. Stay elevated, y'all. Yeah. Let's go. Got them. Yeah. Yeah, I got my hoodie on, now peep the chest, that's human catalyst Downtown True La Vista, oh third damn what I go cop some shit Fuck a thief, so fuck zoomies, yeah they whack ass jack and shit Yeah I moved to Swiss, lost track and silence Fuck the violence, man check my mileage cause I got drive First two I drove six states, never thought I'd be dead right by my side Man what a time it is to be alive, see I'm charged up Feeling energized, do the enterprise, move super size huh. Y'all like shit like a side of fries, whoa False guys who y'all idolize, yeah go against us, I would not advise We no. the highest in the room, just look up what's in you you can find us. Our songs should have more plays, but we too dope. They rewind us. All my talk is lined up. Every day my girl get fined up. All my clothes Let's is local, yeah, bitch. I yeah, really yeah, write yeah, designer. Let's go, uh, gang. Uh, highest in the room, yo, we get fucked up. Uh, eh, you can count on Drake, I bring the loud pack. Eh, get us in the stew and that's game over. Uh, Western Metal Building, that's a home run. Yeah, keep the up or leave the fuck up folders. No bitch, I made the beat and dropped the full verse uh, uh, I just hit a steal, I got dripped up uh, Package born and raised, bitch, I got dripped up uh, Y no se compara uh, You stuck with me partner, say I'm a trigger, fumando ganja Estamos con Cali, fumando en Cali, yo sé que traen ganas 
Ella, ella me dice papi, que terminamos la cama. I just in the room, yeah, with the fuck up. Eh, you can count on Trey, can't bring the loud pack. Eh, get us in the studio and that's game over. Uh, Western Metal Building, that's a home run. Yeah, we got hits like Dati and Machado. Man, we know you're not a leader, cause all our moves you just follow, packing big bows. You know we just scooped up that gelato, cause I smoke killer. My shirt, hello, yo, ask our dealer, we the highest in the room. Just look up, boys, and you can find us. Our song should have more. Place, but we too though they we wind us All my talk is lined up Every day my girl get fined up All my clothes is local Bitch I really rock designer uh.